Donald Trump has said the stock market would crash if he were impeached and accused his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, of lying in an investigation into the misuse of his presidential campaign funds. Yesterday is a day Donald Trump would probably rather forget. Firstly, his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, admitted to paying so-called hush money to two women before the 2016 election. Then his former campaign chair, Paul Manafort, was found guilty of eight fraud charges brought by special counsel Robert Mueller. So where does it leave the investigation into Russian meddling? And how secure is Mr. Trump? in the White House, live to Lubbock in Texas, and Oliver McGee, an author and strategist who's written about switching his allegiance from the Democrats to the Republicans. Hello to you. Thanks for joining us on Sky News this afternoon. Why would you do that? Well, thank you for having me, Kay. Uh, I think today's news is probably a good reason why I wrote Jump in the Aisle, how I became a black Republican in the age of Obama. I think basically right now we see the Democrats really uh, in full force mode for coming in the uh, 77, 76 days of the midterm elections. And I think they're really putting all, all, all hands on deck to try to uh, get the base out on the, on the left. And this is all this is doing is just uh, revving up the base on the right. Because this election, like the 2016 election, K, is about enough. And I think right now we're having enough of the uh, Mueller investigation, enough of the noise that's taking place across the news media. And I think right now it's getting away from what's going to keep Trump from being impeached, which is a $10 trillion value creation that he's created with 3% growth that he and over what he inherited from Obama. And I think right now he's producing 30 million new jobs because for every 1% growth that he's achieved and he's up he's achieved three percent growth since he's been elected that's amounted to you know, 10 trillion uh, 10 million dollars of uh, 10 million jobs uh, for every one percent uh, growth he's achieved and he's achieved uh, three percent yeah. so i think this is going to be very difficult to impeach trump well you say that mr mcgee but you know if he's a crook he's a crook and his lawyer says he's a crook well, I think that that's basically ridiculous. Uh, I think that uh, Donald Trump is really not a part of the Mueller investigation. He's not a part of Manafort's trial. He's not a part of, of what Cohen is talking about. I think basically if we are talking about uh, campaign finance violations, all administrations do this. All senators and House members running for Congress are having some types of noise in the money spending. And it's like jaywalking, as uh, Alan Dershowitz said on Fox News. And Alan Dershowitz is really one of the top lawyers in the country. So really, this is really much to do about nothing. He paid hush money to try to influence the outcome of the election, it's alleged. Yeah, I, that's that's the proper word, allege. And and also there's a lot of hot rhetoric about the word hush. Hush for what? Uh, for jaywalking? Uh, it's basically a very, very... Uh, uh, collusion is not a crime. It's basically a uh, uh, hush hush or, or a weak wink, nod nod with the Russians with regard to some type of rela relationship. And it's very difficult to pin Trump to that when he was during the campaign doing campaign rallies every 48 hours for two years. He was talking to 10,000 people at rallies in front of the major international cameras. So we saw where Donald Trump was running two years for, against Hillary Clinton. He was right in front of us, in front of the cameras at those, all, all of those rallies. I'm often reminded, Kay, about the 1948 election with Truman and Dewey. Dewey stayed home and said pretty much so I was going to be elected while Trump, I mean, while, uh, like Trump, Truman was on the whistle stop tour and he was basically meeting the people and talking about making his case to be elected in 1948. That's why we had the biggest upset with Hillary versus Trump since 1948 because Hillary thought this was in the bag had all the endorsements of the newspapers and all of the establishment right there saying she's going to be the president, but she didn't go out and meet people in Ohio and, and Wisconsin and Michigan, and Trump was meeting them. He was up making his case in front of the American people, and that was the difference in the election. And I think right now what we're seeing going in 2018 midterms, that even though Trump is not on top of the ticket, he really is on top of the ticket because the base is going to come out and vote straight GOP as if Donald Trump was on the top of the 2018 well, it could also have influenced this the election, though, Oliver, um, the suggestion is that um, the Russians could have influenced the election with dirt on Hillary. There was a meeting, as we know, at Trump Tower, uh, and there is a suggestion that the president, 
knew about that meeting, although he continues to say that he did not. We have heard that um, his former lawyer has been subpoenaed this afternoon with uh, they, that uh, the Mueller campaign, uh, the Mueller investigation, want to know more about what he knew, the president. If he did know, what should happen? Well, I call this the Russian collusion delusion because basically all administrations uh, really are paying attention to what the Russians are speaking about. Uh, they're always talking with the Russian officials, even Obama and Clinton and all the past administrations have done since the Cold War. This is a Russian collusion delusion because we're really trying to find what was the collusion. And this Mueller campaign has produced no evidence of collusion. That's why the president's always saying to his base at the rallies, no collusion, no collusion, no collusion. So if there is basically no collusion, I'm reminded by the old Wendy's hamburgers commercial lady, and she said, where's the beef? And that's essentially what we're talking about now. And the base is saying, where's the beef? And they're going to go and show their beef when they go to the polls, because they're going to vote GOP as if Donald Trump is on this 2018 ticket. But and Oliver, that's the first case to be brought by the Mueller uh, um, investigation has got a guilty verdict. Um, that is associated with the parties that he is indicting. And essentially, remember, a prosecutor can indict a ham sandwich. So we've got a couple of ham sandwiches that have been indicted, but those are not involving President Trump. And that keeps him pretty well safe from this right now. This does not rise to that and does not rise to showing anything in associated with impeachment, which is really high crimes and misdemeanors. But we can rest assured that President Trump has not done high crimes or misdemeanors. That's the case. How do you know? How do you I'm know? Sorry? How do you know that? Uh, isn't that? Don't we have to wait for the end of the Mueller investigation to uh, to be sure about that? Well, Kay, it's been going on for 500 days. I understand that the media wants to say that this is a continuing soap opera and it's a continuing story, but I'm going to speculate here on your show that we are still still waiting for where's the beef, and there is no collusion. Now, if there is some evidence that comes down, then we have to have a different conversation. But as of this day, and this is all I can speak to you about what's going on today, there is no collusion and there is no beef. Where's the beef? And that's where we stand right now. Okay, good to talk to you. Thank you. Come back and talk to us very soon, Oliver McGee. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you very much.